Hello everyone. Well, I've got another first for my channel. It's been many years, but I finally got myself an American vacuum cleaner. Now, I've, I've featured vacuum cleaners made in America before, but they've been made for the UK market at 240 volts which is what our electricity supply is in the UK, 220 to 240. American appliances are, on, on the whole, 120 volts, so they can't work in the UK. This, though I'm hoping will work, is a 120 volt vacuum, and it's actually assembled in the USA, but I think from parts probably made in China. It's a, well, we know what it is. It's a Hoover Commercial Porter Power. Yes, they're still making the Porter Power. I featured a few Porter Powers on my channel. Some USA, a USA made one. You might not have seen that yet, actually. I think you saw it briefly in my um, Independence Day video, but I haven't actually shown you the unboxing of that. But I've got UK made Porter Powers as well. This is a commercial Porter Power, so it's a current model, you can still buy this. I actually got this from Amazon.com, not Amazon.co.uk, Amazon.com. So here we go, the Hoover Commercial Porter Power, portable canister. Oh, it's in all sorts of different languages, I thought that was a bit thick. Won't be much, uh, much to learn about this. Now this uses a cloth shakeout bag, but I have also imported, it's not arrived yet, but I'm getting um, some paper bags for this, plus the little adapter that you need to use paper bags. Ah. It's a slightly different colored, very short hose, but I thought the hose was black, and this is more of a gray color. But it's uh, like a Hoover stretch hose. No suction control on the handle, quite a short stubby handle. And we've got the old locking ring system. So there we go. Because this is a portable canister, it doesn't need it to be a hugely long hose because it's designed to be carried. And I think this comes with a uh, shoulder strap too. And speak of shoulder straps, here it is. There we are. And that fits, I believe. I had a shoulder strap for one of my Porter Powers many years ago. I don't know if I've still got it, but it's a similar thing to that. I think these attach to either end, there's two holes either end of the carry handle. Or is it the mod? No, I think it's the body of the machine. Anyway, there's a little bit, little area where you fasten that. So cleaning tool wise you get um, a medium length crevice tool with the pip fitting so that will fit on directly to the handle and lock into place like that so that's ideal for you. Very, oh dear, very loose that is. What a disappointment. That is very loose so there's going to be quite a bit of suction lost I would have thought. Oh well, let's see if the dusting brush fits any better. Well, that's that's better. The dusting brush is a, a better fit. So there's the dusting brush and the final small tool. Oh, that's good. A little bit loose, but not as bad as the crevice tool. That's actually got the rubber teeth like the old Hoovers had. Can you see those there, rubber teeth? Some of the very earlier Hoovers I've had from the sort of 60s, 70s had nozzles with these rubber teeth. They were good for pet hair. So that's your sort of all-purpose nozzle for your upholstery, your stairs and your curtains. And finally in this little bag, we've got this strap which I think is for gathering up the cable. This will have a longer cable than a standard port of power and it won't actually wrap around the handle. So you have to use this strap. Next out of the box we've got the extension ones. These are quite nice and they're also they're very retro because maybe the quality doesn't seem as good. These um, 
are based on an earlier Hoover design with this fitting. So you've got two different styles of fitting. You've got the twist lock fitting for the actual handle and then you've got this click fitting to attach any of the nozzles to the extension ones. You press that in to release the nozzle, fits okay. Let's check on the crevice tool, see if that's a tighter fit. That's, well, still a little bit loose, but it is a tighter fit than it was on the hose end. So there we go, two, and it's nice that they're metal. In the UK, our Porter Powers only ever had plastic ones, they never had metal ones. Unless they did a commercial version, I'm not sure. Yes, I'm sure these actually, now come to think of the picture from Amazon.com, these are slightly different tools, because I think all the tools in the picture were black. And they've gone now, they've changed the tool colour to grey. So this is um, a sort of a floor brush, it's much narrower than a full size floor brush. It might look quite wide when I'm holding it up to the camera like that, but it is, I'd say it's a few inches narrower than you'd expect. So that's that. Again, that will fit onto the uh, the end of the wand with the old pip fitting. Ah, yes, it is different now. Yes, it looks the same shape. This again is an old design nozzle. I've seen this. Uh, I've seen pictures of this on Hoover cleaners from the eighties that have got this style of nozzle, Hoover canisters. Now what have I done with my... <laughs> I've managed to keep hold of my um, box opener, folks. Oh, there it is. I'm always losing it. And I'm often losing it mid-video too. Now this, the quality of this does not seem as good. This feels... I'm sure this nozzle is a lot lighter than the original USA made. This says assembled in the USA, but I can tell by opening this the parts are probably mainly imported from China I would not be surprised it seems reasonable enough got the nice Hoover logo edge cleaning there's a floating brush so you can have it floating like that so this in the floating position it's for rugs and you've got this little orange lever the bare floors and then that locks the brush into position. Having just one brush on the back for bare floors may mean it won't snow plow as much as some of the brushes that have, um, some of the main no nozzles have a brush all the way around the front and the sides, don't they? But by leaving just a brush at the back, it might mean it will be better for larger particle cleaning. As I said, this is part of Hoover's commercial lineup. They do several different machines, but I would say, obviously my American viewers will know better, but this is probably one of the longest running designs that Hoover currently offer the port power shape. I know there's the, um, the Hoover Guardsman in the commercial lineup, which is quite an old design. Again, I think it's made, maybe assembled in the U United States, but it's probably from Chinese parts. But this is pretty an pretty pretty old design. This I think this came out in the late seventies. The actual design of the vacuum, which we're about to see. And do you know what? I think the whole machine's different. Well, it's going to be a bit tricky to send it back. Um, yes. Do you know what this is? Not the machine illustrated. I'm not I'm not disappointed. It's nice to have a brand new Porter Power. But it's not the picture. I'll show you the picture. This is the picture of the Porter Power on Amazon. This is the machine I expected to receive. But what I have received instead is this which is more of a grey. The one in the picture is definitely black. And that feels slightly lighter. I'd have to compare the two because I do have a USA made earlier Porter Power. And to my recollection, I think that's a bit heavier. But this has certainly got a very heavy duty cord on it. 
and it looks like pretty decent length. That is ferry and it's also ribbed and it's orange as most commercial vacuums do have a cord. It might be orange or yellow. That's so it can be seen easier because if a commercial vacuum is being used and there are other people walking about, you don't want a black cord or a grey cord that could blend in to the carpet or floor. You want something that people will notice so they're not going to trip up. I just I like the orange colour scheme. All, all of Hoover's commercial lineup are either sort of black and orange or, or this grey and orange and they look quite smart. So yes, it's, it is different, but there we see it says commercial porter power on it and it's just the same, exactly the same shape as the original porter power. You've got the little flap at the back which I'm assuming will lift up. Oh, that's different though. On the versions I've got that's actually glued to the grill but they, this stuff it's not it's a bit different to the original but that perishes but at least that I mean it's going to be harder for me to get parts for American imported vacuums I could still get them but they, get, they end up quite expensive with shipping and everything but that will that just fits on loosely so we do have the port at the back which we can connect the hose to and use the machine for blowing so there's that so it is, um, this is my first American imported vacuum and it is an expensive way so please don't start saying oh buy this buy that, my American viewers I'm talking to. Um, I will be featuring more American vacuums on my channel, I've got at least three more sort of in the works so to speak but they're machines I really want because they end up costing me probably double what they would cost you to buy in America once I add the shipping and I have to pay import charges as well, it's an expensive way of doing things. So just point that out, you know, I know you'd like to see various other machines. I'd love to do like um, Simplicity or a Ricard on this channel, but they are very expensive to buy anyway. And then there's shipping. Unless uh, the company, uh, Taconi, wants to s contact me and send me one, that'll be fine. because you know I can do that so it's got little assembled in the US of A here's the old rating doobly so it says Hoover commercial Tektronic Tech floor care technology limited vacuum cleaner aspirateur and its model CH30000 double insulated and it's uh, 120, 120 volts, 60 hertz, 7.5 amps. And the serial is 17345CO267. Distributed by Hoover Inc. Glen Willow, Ohio. Assembled in USA. I wonder whereabouts is it assembled. I'm sure American viewers will know where that's assembled. Is it assembled in Ohio? I wonder. Here's the bag door. Do you notice it's just the same, that's where you connect here and here. You know, it does feel a little, the edges are a bit sharp on this. The quality, mm. it seems okay but it's not as good I think. That bag seems a little bit longer than my original port power. You can see that's, that's how long it would be when it's inside the machine. So it's nearly the full length. But I'm going to use this with paper bags. I think it's a, it's a cleaner method of disposal. This is exactly the same, this little grill. And I never knew why they never put a filter on this. This is just a very basic grill um, that wouldn't allow any fine particulates to be filtered. It just stops any larger debris getting into the uh, motor. But, you know, anything that will be passing through this bag will certainly go straight through that. But there you go. And you've got your little flap. That's a bit thinner than the original as well. Well, that fits in there. It'd be interesting to, to hear the noise level of this, which we will do hopefully in a minute. And uh, that's a little bit changed on the top for some reason. They've recessed the rocker switch. That looks a bit different. You've got an orange basic switch like that. But there we go. I'm, I'm chuffed with it. Say so it's expensive. I think these cost. If you're in America, I think these cost just over $100. And if you are living in the USA, you can probably have that shipped 
to you for free it cost me more than that of course I think I can't I think it was about May I don't know I can't remember now but anyway let's take this flex I say the flex is a definitely of a thicker grade than I would think a domestic vacuum would have it does seem much thicker and there we go it's even got that little cover protector there so let's uh, plug this in and see if this works right then um oh so doesn't actually fit my socket does it oh no it's got an american plug on hasn't it that's not going to fit a uk three pin plug oh well i'll have to abandon this video only kidding folks you don't think mr ibasiak would have been that silly of course it's not going to work with even if i was to put a uk plug on the end this appliance would probably blow up i don't know what would happen but it wouldn't do it any good to try and use it on 240 volts when it's only designed for 120 volts so a couple of weeks ago i bought this this is a step down voltage converter the maximum uh, rating for this is about 1500 watts which should be okay for most of the vacuum cleaners i intend to import possibly i should have got one that's rated at 2000 but anyway for this model this is just over seven amp machine this will be fine so basically this plugs in to my electrical circuits using a regular uk plug and then it drops down the voltage from 240 to 120 and then at the back i've got two american sockets where i have to plug in the american vacuum so first of all i need to plug in the lead into this plug this actually into the wall as well and then hopefully I can plug the porter power into one of these sockets so the first thing I need to do is plug the vacuum into the step down transformer now it won't go I thought it was this way but it won't go that way it does go this way so I think the pins are actually yes at first glance the pins look the same but if the camera can focus, probably won't. But anyway, the pins are slightly, one is slightly wider at the end than the other. And also one of the sockets here, one of the inlets is slightly wider. So it's this way, right? So that's plugged into there. I need to switch this converter on. And when I switch it on, there's a little indicator at the front, which should indicate the voltage okay then i've plugged in the transformer just have to switch it on hopefully it won't blow up it's making a very slight buzzing noise and this little lever has moved now i'll just turn it off again i'll just turn it back on again and we'll see where the little indicator points to there's a slight flickering of the lights when i did that so we're in the green area which I assume is okay. So now all I have to do is, in theory, switch on the Hoover commercial porter power. Okay, I'm a little bit apprehensive about doing this. Oh dear, right. It should work. <laughs> this is worse than buying an old vacuum. It's a brand new vacuum, but it's not meant for 240 volts. I know I've got this, I've got this device. Just go for it. <laughs> oh, that worked. Now, hang on. Did anything happen to the needle when I turned it on? Well, everything seems fine when I turned on the porter power. The indicator stayed in the green zone, which I assume means it's okay. It does have a safety cutout. If I was to overload this, it will cut out. Um, as you saw, it's got two sockets. I can use two appliances at the same time. Not that I probably will, but they have to be under 1400 watts and really a little bit under that. There has to be a little bit of leeway. But for the machines I'm getting, I'm getting at the time of making this video, I'll be receiving three more um, American voltage vacuums. 
two vintage machines and one brand new that you can still buy and um, they all should be under the wattage that um, certainly the um, the two older machines certainly will be so that's something um, I'm looking forward to I'm expecting my first vintage American vacuum to turn up any day it is in the country it's in the UK it has been for a couple of days it might come later today but hopefully it'll come tomorrow so so the principle I'm glad I really should have tried it one vat out first before buying the other three but it, it works my step down transformer works it's not something I'd recommend to the average person because of the expense this really obviously if you're looking into buying I'll be doing a review of this if you're an American and you want to buy one of these I'll do a review and of course it'll work just the same in your country but um, as far as importing this if you're interested in buying one of these in the UK for the majority of people it will be too expensive for you you know don't not only have the cost of the machine the shipping and the import charges you do have to also take into account you've got to buy one of these step down transformers you can't just cut the plug on put a UK plug on and expect things to be hunky dory because they won't so this is ideal for above the floor obviously it comes with the carpet and floor head but in a commercial environment I can see this being used mainly for your stairs upholstery your high level dusting possibly car valeting it would be useful for when I do my demo of this I will be using the paper bag insert which should be arriving any day now you can if you've got um, if you're watching in the UK and you've got an older porter power you want to convert it to paper bags you can buy the paper bags from amazon.co.uk but they do come from America but they're around a fiver delivered but you will also need the plastic insert I'll put a picture of it up here so you can see what I'm talking about here are the bags that Amazon UK sell and this is the plastic insert now I think I also got that from Amazon UK um, and I think it was about eight pounds so all in all both of these items cost about 15 pounds delivered from America so that's not bad if you want to convert your porter power to use bags so there's the uh, the strap which I uh, I can put that on my shoulder and go up the stairs with it so if I was to do my stairs I'd probably plug that directly into there it wouldn't win any prizes for suction but as I said it's mainly for above the floor you don't need huge amounts of suction and for light cleaning jobs on your floors with the nozzle so mm, see it's, if you are having it on the floor the hose is a bit short it's still doable I could still use it I suppose on the floor but the hose I've just noticed there's no sort of swivel on it either side there's no swivel so it can sort of get a bit twisted up I don't think it's going to be very good I will do a demo and see what it does pick up from a carpet and a hard floor it might be not so bad for a hard floor but I think for carpets especially if you've got pets I don't think it's really it's not really meant for that anyway I think its main use would be for your detail cleaning and your above floor cleaning so this is my latest fashion accessory it goes quite well with the uh, the black and grey outfit I've got on my uh, <laughs> new Hoover Porta Power commercial so I've got it with the dusting brush so this is where I think with the long long cable and the light body and the, the shoulder strap this is where you could walk around and do all your detailed cleaning do your stairs it would be even okay if you're cleaning a stately home I don't know if you get many stately homes in the USA maybe if you are a cleaner at the White House let's say that's the biggest house I know in the USA you might need to be up steps to clean the mouldings you know high up you'd have to uh, put the extension ones on but you could use this and still hold on to use one hand to direct the nozzle and use another hand to hold on to the steps 
use it for your high level cleaning. But yeah, it's very maneuverable. Maybe not as good as having a backpack vacuum strapped to your back, but it's much easier to take on and off. And of course you can just use it handheld, hold it by the handle or put it, put it on the floor because it does stand quite securely on the floor. Ideal for going up the stairs. It will st sit on the stairs as well as if you didn't want to use a strap. But all in all, if you're looking to buy one of these, if you're in the USA, um, first impressions, it seems pretty good. Um, it's not bad, it's not huge suction power. I wouldn't recommend it, I don't think, for floor cleaning. But for above floor cleaning, you might want to try out the uh, Hoover Commercial Porter Power. To store the cable, you need to fit this strap to the top of the handle. So just loop it through and you've got some press studs. So it fits on like that. And then you have to coil up the cable, put it inside the loop and fasten it shut. So there you have it. That's the unboxing and first look at my very first 120 volt vacuum cleaner imported from the US of A. If you have any questions or if you can tell me a bit more about this machine, if you're from the USA, please do so in the comments section below. And I'll see you again for another video and more American vacuums to come on my channel. So please subscribe, click the bell icon and you'll be updated every time I upload a new video. So until then, it's bye from me and thanks for watching.